If we look at the wireless mic situation, you'll quite often have a gain control on the actual microphone. Now, it won't look like a normal trim pod or a, or a gain control that you'd see on a mixer, but quite often it'll be like a little micro switch or a, a micro um, uh, dial. I actually took this off the um, uh, out of a, uh, a Shure owner's manual for one of their wireless mics. You can see on the bottom of the microphone there's a little slider there that um, will adjust the gain of that mic. In whatever way you do it, here's what you do. You have your vocalist sing as loud, I mean not as loud as they can, but as loud as they will normally sing into that microphone and then you adjust that wireless mic gain looking at the signal on your receiver. In this case we've hit it too hard, so I'll back off that wireless gain until you get a good signal to noise ratio and that'll be nice and clean. By the way, a lot of receivers will have actually a headphone jack. If you can plug in a headphone, it's a great way to kind of audition how clean that vocal is and whether you're getting clipping right there at the beginning of your chain. If you've set up you know, everything correctly, then your signal will be strong enough uh, but no distortion. And with all the faders set to about the zero dB mark, then you all you need to do is adjust your input trim or gain knobs. Keep in mind that if you have a receiver, you know, wireless receiver, it probably has a volume knob set that to zero dB or about 80% of its max. So do you understand how we attack our signal levels from two ends? First from the amp side, then from the input side. Like I said, fire up a CD player into a line input or a stereo turn with all the settings down here at zero dB, set up the main amps to a, co a comfortable listening level like in which you'd normally run the system, plus a little bit more. Then adjust any wireless systems so they are at their sweet spot setting, you know, sweet spot setting wise and make your adjustments all up here at your gain or trim knobs. With your system set up this way, it'll be way quieter, you'll have no distortion and you'll have just a really great sound with lots of headroom. The rule of thumb is, if you have distortion, you're, you've overdriven some part of your signal chain. And I would always start at the input first. If you have too much noise, then some part of your chain is set down too low and you've cranked it up, bringing up the noise. Now to check these out, uh, go through each part of your system one stage by one stage uh, you know, through your chain. If you're getting distortion on a mic, then start off with a mic. Maybe your sound source is just physically too loud for that particular mic. You, know, you can't put a delicate condenser mic in front of a 130 dB snare drum. Use the mics that I recommended a while ago and you know all should be good to go. If you're using wireless mics, then the technique I said a moment ago with adjusting levels on the actual mic and monitoring, if possible, from the receiver works really, really well. Basically, the main place in which distortion will occur is it you know at or before the gain or trim knob so take out your troubleshooting hat and swap out mics adjust wireless levels and so on